Hey everybody, um, this is a Wet Paint Nail Spa video production. Um, probably more interesting for my fellow nail techs than for clients, but in case you wanted to know, I'm going to be using an electric file to remove my um, New Year's Eve nails. I've already started with this finger uh, playing around with color for my next nail project. Um, which I will be videotaping, but for now, as much as I love my first attempt at 3D nail art, this little champagne glass, um, it's time for the New Year's nails to come off. So, uh, follow along, won't you? So right now I'm using a very coarse carbide bit to remove uh, gel polish from a nail enhancement. I'm also using it to take down the thickness of the nail because I feel like when I sculpted it, I made it a bit thick. Well, not sculpted it, but when I made the overlay. Um, so I'm thinning that out a bit also. Um, I will do a comparison video so you can see how much gentler it is to use the electric file to remove gel polish from a natural nail. I use a much lower speed and a much finer grit nail file so that, um, so that there's no damage to the natural nail and I only remove the gel polish and not the natural nail. When you're using an electric file to remove polish or an enhancement, uh, you always want to use the lightest possible touch. You want the file to do the work, so you don't need to bear down. Um, you should feel next to no pressure. If you feel like you need to use more pressure because the product isn't coming off, uh, instead try increasing the speed of the file um, and still keeping a super light, gentle touch. And also, do not use an electric file if you haven't had a professional class. You can seriously hurt yourself or your client. Um, you can do permanent damage to the nail plate. So don't just learn by watching YouTube videos. Take a professional class and practice on yourself so you know what the pressure feels like. Um, gently, gently, gently. Also, I know a lot of people call it a drill, but I really insist on calling it an electric file because there's a psychological component with your clients. A drill makes holes. Nobody wants holes in their nails. A file is used to shape and buff and um, take down a little length. It, it just, it sounds more professional. I think it makes the clients happier when they hear us say file rather than drill. Now, this is my first time removing 3D gel. Plus I've got some bullion beads here, so it could get even noisier. So, oh. seems to be coming off pretty easily actually.
Although those bullion beads are made of metal, <laughs> but they're pretty small, so they surrender to the file pretty quickly. So right now, I'm just getting off the last bits of color. As you can see, there's a little under the nail. And this is what's called a safety bit. It's rounded on the top and has no grit. So when I had it down here and it was touching my skin, that was okay because it was just the point, which is okay. Tough. So when I look at it from the side, it looks fine. When I look at it straight down the barrel, you can see it's a wonky shape. It tilts down this way, which means there's more product on this side than on this side. Uh, so once again, I'll turn the speed up and try to level that out. And remember, this is not my natural nail. I have done what's called a gel overlay. So I have a nice hard gel uh, on top of my nail, and that's what I'm filing and shaping. My, my natural nail is not coming into play whatsoever. So uh, the last bit of refining I'm going to do with a hand file. So I'll just finish these babies up, and then I will switch to a hand file, and I will refine the shape and the length. Um, I had started out with these in a more of a ballerina or coffin style, and I don't know if I want to go back to that or if I want to go to uh, almond like these little babies so I have a matching set. Harmony Nails Studio in Warwick. So if you're ever down there and you want gorgeous nails, now you know where to go. Files here of varying grits because I never know until I start working which one I want. <laughs> so, here we go. We'll start with the coarsest one. And while it is the coarsest of the three hand files, it's not terribly coarse. As you can see, it's 150 grit. And interestingly, while I don't use OPI polish, I do use their hand files. I like them very much. Um, every nail tech has her own set of tools, or his own. Um, shout out to my bro, Kenny. Um, that um, that she likes to work with. So at Wet Paint Nail Spa, even though we all perform the same services and you'll get the same quality and the same outcome from each and every one of us, um, you'll see that each of us does things a little bit differently and that our tools might look a little different from one tech to the next because um, we all want to work with what feels comfortable to us. Now, when I am filing length, I like to look from a couple of different angles because from this angle, to me, the tip of the nail looks straight across. But when I flip it this way, you can see it's not quite even. And when I turn it this way, it's not quite even. It just needs a few strokes to get it where I want it to be. Now, that's a nice shape, but it's very different than this nail. <clears throat> but I need to do a fill on these, so we'll see what the finished shape looks like at the very end of the manicure. Finally, at long last, over nine or 10 days, I've managed to film everything. I have removed my old nails, filed and shaped, ended up going almond instead of coffin shaped or ballerina shaped. Broke a nail, but that's okay because I'm gonna use that for my next project. And um, now we'll see how long it takes me to edit it all and get it together. But thank you so much for going along with me on this uh, new adventure. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the videos. 
um, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> that looks kind of silly, but you know what I mean. And um, the next video, stay tuned for the next video, which will happily, hopefully go faster and also um, be interesting to not just nail nerds like me, but also to our clientele. Okay, take care. Thank you.